So this is our studio where we, uh, where we assemble the tables, uh, test the tables before they're shipped. Um, it's also my listening room, which is a great perk of, of coming to work and building tables every day as I get to listen to music. So come on in. Just to give you a kind of a mini tour of, of, of what we do here. Um, so here's, um, here's some of our plinths that are basically ready to go for, for, for customers. This is Santos Rosewood. Uh, this is in the Encore profile. There's some quilted maples. Off in the distance, you can see some uh, walnuts. Uh, here's our isolation platforms, which are that we use on both our Harmony and Horizon models. Um, some of our subplatters. Our subplatters are made out of solid aluminum and stainless steel. Uh, they're very heavy. They're they're. They're a very, very solid, good product. I mean, they're, they're, the flywheel effect you get with this additional weight is, is very important. Some manufacturers, you know, do it in synthetics and, and even plastic, which to me is, is very surprising because, you know, molded products, you just can't get them entirely round. I mean, they, 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 yes, they're round, but they're not. Anyhow, it's, it's just, it's a, we have a, we firmly believe in this. Um, here's some of our power supplies and linear power, sorry, speed controllers and power supplies. Even our, our speed controller comes with its own separate uh, linear power supply. We don't use wall warts even on our basic, basic system. Here, here's one that you see before we put it together. Um, and incidentally, we use AC motors instead of DC motors. And the reason being is uh, the speed controller will send an exact frequency. AC motors, all they can do is they run off the frequency you, you feed it. So um, every table that we have gets calibrated, individually calibrated. So the motor is matched to the power supply. And there's little speed pots here. You can do fine adjustments. The speed is nailed down and it's stable and it's, 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 it's a great solution. It's, it's a really, it's a good way of, of doing things. Um, some of our other products here's uh, here's our Delrin platters. Ready? This is a this is a two inch Delrin that we use on our Horizon and and Harmony models. Um, you see, also there's some inch and a half ones, and then of course stacked up there is is our tapered one, which is a which is an optional thing, an optional platter basically. Here's some of our feet. Oh, I'd like to talk about these for a sec. These are our. Uh, Gaia's made by Isoacoustics, uh, also in, in Canada. Um, it's a brilliant product. These are these are uh, come standard on our on our top models. Um, they're on the bottom of the isolation platform. This model, you, you probably know the model one, two, and three. That's that's more for speakers. This was developed specifically for turntables, and we were very happy to to get involved in in that stages with Isoacoustics. So this has been a this has been a great addition to the, to the line. Here, of course, is some of my albums that, uh, when I say some, I'm not kidding. Most of my albums are at home, but um, I I'm lucky. I I've been buying albums for 40 plus years and, and uh, back in the day when you could buy an album for $2.99 and stuff, uh, which is considerably less than today's records. <laughs> um, Here's some of our veneers that we use. This on top, of course, is Santos Rosewood. This is the veneer in its raw state before it's pressed on to the, uh, to the plinths and then, of course, dyed and, and finished and stuff. Um, there's some quilted maple. Um, this is a very interesting one. This is a wood called Babinga. And it's, uh, we don't presently run Babinga, but I just saw the veneer and I loved it so much that I bought it. So stay tuned, it may be added. Mm -hmm. This here, so here, here's a good idea. A good, here's a good example of our. This is our standard finish in our quilted maple, instead of a, a real classic vintage maple look. Um, and here's a prototype. Next to it is a prototype we did in a color we called sangria. Um, 
And one thing that's different about our, our, our finishes is we use, uh, we use dyes. We don't use stains because dyes tend to um, color the wood in whatever color you want, but it doesn't, it doesn't um, cover up any, any of the detail, any of the sort of textures that you get in the, you know, you get in the wood. So it, it's a really a good, good way of doing things. Like up here, you'll, you'll see we, we were sort of constantly ex experimenting with dyes and colors. You know, we, we've tried greens and blues and, and this and that. So it's, it's something that we're constantly, constantly looking at in, for options. Here's a quick uh, little thing of my system here. Um, I'm obviously a two-channel guy. Um, my integrated amp is made by Icon Audio out of the UK. It's, it's based on the 845 tube. I love this amp. If you're looking for a new amp, you check these guys out there. They make awesome sounding stuff. I also use their phono stages. Actually, it, this is a, a model called the PS3 and it's, it's very, very good. It, it, it really competes with the big boys, that's for sure. So this is a... Um, very early stages. This is a, a build that we're about to start. It's our um, encore model in a in a uh, in a dark walnut. So this is uh, this is kind of where it all where all starts. So thank you for watching, and um, I hope you're interested in our products, and I hope you become part of the Pure Fidelity family soon. Thanks.